All right, hello guys. I've got in today, this is a, I think that says Yami uh, e-bike. So it's a 48 volt, I don't know, 750 or 1000 watt motor. Um, anyway, it's doing something odd. So if you get the power level up to mode number five, no idea how I'm going to film this with one hand, uh, and you press the throttle and you get it up to max speed or reasonable amount of speed and you jam on the brake or bump the bike on the ground or something like that and then cause it to be under full load, it'll cut out, won't turn on again until you disconnect the battery and reconnect the battery. It's a classic symptom of bad uh, BMS or a BMS that's cutting out early. You know, maybe it's a 15 amp BMS and it's trying to pull 30 amps. You know, it makes sense. Um, anyway, the customer obviously doesn't really like that behaviour for his bike, which is, you know, quite reasonable. Uh, so I'm going to try... No idea how I'm going to film this. Haven't thought this through, have I? Wheels off the ground. So if I can film the throttle with this hand, and I'm going to push the brake, that's the rat brake on the right, because it's mean, with my elbow. Ooh, that's, that's going to be a fun thing for you to watch. There. There you go. Sorry about the <laughs> nature of that. It probably wasn't very fun. Um, and no, it doesn't turn on. Won't turn on. Even if you do the key... off, which should disconnect the power from the bike, and turn it back on, still nothing, won't turn back on, until you, if I do it, leave it on so we can see, crack the frame, disconnect the pins, oh sorry, I'm not filming a vertical video, I'll get there, there you go, then it's powering up the controller, the juice is coming back out of the battery, and turn the bike on and ride it again. So, I'm going to open up the battery and see what's going on. Alright, there we go. So, I've already had this battery out. It's supposed to be 48 volt, 14.5 amp power, so it's probably, I don't know, 13 S5 or 6P, it's quite big. Um, I tested it, it's giving me 13.6 amp power and that was at 20 amps. The warranty label is intact, but I've spoken to the customer apparently, you know, that's fine. Um, let's have a look. Got our charge port just there, which is the, the larger size, so maybe a 2.5 mil DC barrel jack. Uh, we've got our fuse there, discharge pins, positive, negative, lock barrel there, which should turn it on and off, and then our uh, bottom plate here. So to undo this, we've got uh, one Phillips head, two Phillips head, and a third one down in that hole. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Ooh, the warranty sticker is um definitely not intact anymore. Oh the focus. Let's not do that. Get out little screw. There we go. Okay. So these are our power connectors here. I see our main positive and our main negative. And the key switch should turn off power to the BMS through the small wires just there. We've got our charge port connector here and we've got our, who knows, this is like a second set of wires that go to the central terminals over here and might run the uh, lights or something like that. Um, okay. I think this should go to the fuse up there. Hopefully. Let's have a little look, shall we? Okay, right. Pop this out. Two of those. That's the ignition barrel remover. Oh, the fuse holder's not even hooked up. So, it's not that. <laughs> Evidently. 
Um, so we can get this, uh, this battery back out. It looks as though it's siliconed in. Why doesn't the autofocus work today? Siliconed in up here. So we'll uh, give that a little chop. Flat hand screwdriver there. It's probably going to be silicon at the other end, isn't there? Yep, that's not going in there. Same three screws up this end. Phillips screws again. Let's just keep them in there that time. Uh, oh no, no silicon, just a bit of foam, I think. Oh yeah, look, it'll, it'll push out. Give it a good shove. That's that's not easy. Um, what I got that I could push this with because doing that with my hand is not pleasant. Okay, right, there's our aluminium profile, it's rounded on one edge, or sort of chamfered, and that's the side that the larger power wires came off, just like that, and this was up near the discharge side. Let's pick you over there so I can lose you, let's pick you over there so I can lose you, um, right. 2020 is the stamp on that. Of course you can't see because it's not focusing. My fuel cells, where's the BMS hiding do we reckon? Let's cut it open and let's have a little look inside shall we? explosions and stuff. Right, so it's all wrapped in barley paper, which we love. It's a good thing. Okay. Ha! The BMS. Excellent. That's what we wanted. I think, in terms of capacity, I wasn't really concerned about the cells. They look a bit uh, no namey, though, don't they? They're sort of the generic. Oh no, NCR1860B, so they may actually be uh, real Panasonic cells. Oh, I couldn't tell you if they're real or not, but lithium ion MH2210. You just about make it out in there. Well, that's cool. Great. I wasn't concerned about the cells. The cells seem to be performing as they should. Um, what I was concerned about was the BMS and its you know, lack of performance. Let's see what we can see on there, shall we? I have to zoom you in to have a better look at it, but... 
Okay, it says it's a 25 amp BMS on there. Zoom you in. Do, 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 do. There you go. What's that like? There you go. Right, so um, it's a Sandu SDA 161-1320B00VA, whatever that means. 13 will be the number of batteries in the series, so 13S, 5 amp, battery negative, power negative, and so that'd be 5 amp charging max current, and that should be 25 amp discharging max current. Um, if it's a 25 amp rated BMS and you do 48 times 25, it, you know, it should not cut out. Evidently, though, this one is. Um, the negatives on this side, the positives on that side, indicated by the nice red lead we've got just there. These are our switch wires for, to turn it on and off, which, I wonder if they're even working. Doesn't matter if it's cutting out, it's cutting out. Um, as far as I could tell, this, you know, given the capacity, it charges up to 54.6 volts, it's all uh, seems absolutely fine. Just going to check and see. This guy's key tag is not monetization friendly, YouTube friendly. Make sure this key switch is working correctly while well, I've got it out because it doesn't seem to turn the battery off. You have physically disconnecting it, shouldn't be necessary if you've got the key switch, but that's off. The key switch seems a bit iffy, but that's fine, we can replace it, it's bog standard, like a silverfish key switch, that's all normal. Um, right, so, looks as though the BMS is the problem, and we need something with a higher rating than 25 amps. What I will do is I'll check how many batteries are in, uh, how many cells are in parallel here, per group. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, five P. Um, if they are genuine cells, I'll work out what the max current rating is, because, you know, if it's underrated, I won't be putting in a larger BMS for no reason, because that would be dumb, wouldn't it? So they should be 18650 Bs. So they look to be um, 5 amps recommended, or 6.7 amps max. Uh, that should give you, if I times those together, 33.5 amps max um, and if the bike is rated for I don't know, let's, let's call it a thousand what a thousand divided by 33.5 a thousand divided by 48 volts is 20 amps is all it should be pulling so it's almost a bit like the bike controller's putting too much power. I don't know if it's been modified or what. Um, I think it's just trying to pull more than that. Or oh, we've just got a defective BMS then, very good. There's, you know, there's always that. Just want to make sure that I don't want to put in a bigger, larger rate of BMS. The cells can't handle it, and then, you know, they overheat or something, because that would be silly. Uh, so if they're 6.7 amps max and 5 amps recommended, so 5.5s five would be 25 amps, and therefore this is the right size BMS, still shouldn't be cutting out, though, should it? Um, it's very hard to say. Very hard to say. And in terms of capacity, they are supposed to be 3,350 milliamp hours each. So if we do 3,350 times by 5 for our capacity, we should be getting 16.75 amp hours out of it. And got nothing like that, you know. Oh, what did I measure it at? I measured it at. 13.6 so um, that's an interesting one yeah, like one, two, three, four, five in parallel in the groups isn't that bizarre oh well, um, it looks as though it's safe to put in, at the very least a, a different 25 amp rated BMS or perhaps up into a 30 amp one should be safe 
Um, it's not like it's going to be pulling that power all the time. That would only be under max acceleration or climbing a very steep hill, something like that. Max you're going to do for the five minutes at a time. Um, so, yeah, well, I will get the BMS replaced and see how the bike performs. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, you can like, comment, share, subscribe. We've got like a members thing. It's all very fun. And uh, if not, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.